Hello and welcome back. Um, so yeah, we're going to actually texture in this one, and I think I forgot to tell you how to save out your ID map. So once you um baked it, uh, go under image, uh, save as, and you're able to save out your ID. So we're going to do that now, like so, and yeah, we we'll just I save that out. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is I'm actually going to go into object mode and duplicate this and do that sec, turn off snapping, duplicate this. Alright, so I basically got two here. Um, this one here, I want to get rid of. The, uh, I want to replace this texture, so I'm going to open that up. Um, I want to replace it with the ID. Um, so now, um, actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to rename. No, I'm going to cop. I'm yeah. I'm going to copy the ID. I'm going to rename it to um, M M M nine T texture and um, I'm going to actually open that up instead and uh, rename that uh, so let's open that up okay so this is going to be our texture um, we are we're going to open that up in Photoshop um, and I've got a bunch of textures from uh, CG textures or uh, texture.com textures.com um, I'll leave a link in the description all right so basically what we're going to start doing now is we want to bring in our UV as well, our UV layout, layout. so I'm going to apply that and I'm just OCD about this, I don't, I, don't, well, I don't know what that little icon down there is but I don't like it and I always had to merge this down. All right. You don't. I don't think you had to do that at all, but it, that's just me. I uh, get really fussy with that. Um, so first thing first, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in some textures. So we want to bring in um, the base texture. Um, what will be this? Uh, it isn't actually dark enough. That we're going to have to um, tweak that. Um, it way too small. But um, that's fine, that's fine. What we're going to do is um, go and duplicate it. So, go and hit enter. Alright, and I don't like that bit on that one. Alright, so I'm going to duplicate this, like so. Alright. And duplicate it a bunch of times. Alright, I'm going to duplicate it once more, and this one, um, I'm actually going to go up to image, um, we want to actually resize this image, I do, no, um, okay, I'm going to delete that one, merge these ones down, so, um, you know what, I'm going to make a folder in here as well, I'm going to just drag my, um, pretty much my, um, what do you call it, into it, um, what's that called, mine, mine lay, 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 yeah. mine ID map and, um, the UV layout, uh, but um, I'm going to turn this down about 25%, uh, maybe 50, yeah, about 50% and I'm going to move these up, so, uh, and I'm going to duplicate this, 
there and bring that stand like so. Um, merge them down, duplicate it again. Yes, right. like so. Merge them down. Right. Okay. Now we've got a nice texture here. Uh, we've got a big seam in the middle. We do it's going to go onto the clone tool over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna get the brush a little bit bigger here. Um I'm hitting the bracket keys to um make that go up and down. Or you can do it scale up here and do it scale up and down in here. Um, so I'm going to hold down Alt, going to click it over here or something, and basically getting rid of this. Like so. Alright, that seam is gone. Alright, then we've got a nice base layout. Um, what we're going to do now is get up that clone tool. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to do cycle through the filters, seeing if um, there's one more darken up nice enough. Um, what about this one? Let's reset it to like five percent. Try five. That darkened it up a little bit nicer. Um, Come on, why can't I swim in now? Seriously? Alright. Okay, you're not going back over there. Fine. Alright. Wow. I don't like Photoshop at all. Alright. There we go. Okay. Then we got that sorted. Um Basically, what we're going to do now is I'm going to merge that down. Right. Basically, uh, I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times now. Uh, three, four times maybe. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to our ID mask now. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to selection, um, color range, and I'm going to click the red one here and do OK. And I'm going to do in first under um, select to in, in first that, and I'm going to do, go down to one of these and hit delete right. and basically if we turn it up off now um, it only stays in the red channel so that's pretty much how you get like if you want something on the red um, so let 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 make the red part actually a little bit darker um, I don't know if that's really sick at all or anything but uh, why not uh, to kind of demonstrate it a little bit more um, I'm not going to make it much darker. Why is there lines? Hang on, don't tell me I am. Um, uh, seriously, okay. I'm going to delete this layer. Um, going to delete that layer. Try that again. This layer. Oh. Okay. Enable this. Oh. Where's my mouse? Oh. Give me my mouse. Oh. Okay, so I don't know why there's that sat happening a second ago. So, color range, under selection color range, um, going to click the red, do OK. That got our red, and now if we do, if now if we click on our 
Oh, no, we, yeah, we click on our um, texture we want, and we do in first. It doesn't matter if you actually select that texture first or not. We don't actually need to be on it. Right. Okay, now and hide that. Brilliant. Okay, now that's actually working better. So that's going to be the red channel. And what we could do is say if we wanted to add um, another texture in here quickly, and I'm going to scale this up for oh, a tiny texture. Scale this up like so. Okay, ooh, too big. Alright. Alright, so basically I'm gonna hit in on that and duplicate this a couple of times. And the Merge, oh, damn it. Right. Make a new layer. And then drop that one below there. And that one below there. And just merge these down. And merge that down. Alright, cool. We'll do K dips again. Like so. Alright. And we can merge these down. Oh, didn't want to merge that down into there yet. So duplicate this again. Move that down. Um going to actually flip this because it's I want to do that. That's it. Trans the image. Um, why are you flipping the whole thing? Oh right, well, I'm going to leave it. No, not worth it. Don't like. Not a big fan of them. Um, Photoshop at all. Alright, so basically, going to merge these down like so. Um, and now we're going to turn the opacity down about uh, 50%. And um, what we're going to do now is basically go around and erase some stuff. Um, so let's find it a nice, interesting brush. Um, uh, yes, should do. Maybe. You know what? Uh, didn't want to delete that bit. Probably want to turn the opacity down for the brush a bit as well. Um, let's say about. 25 and it's kind of go around and delete some of this I'm going to change the brush up again. Oh, that's tiny. Seriously? Right. Okay, that'll do.
and basically going to turn its opacity up all the way a sec. And around here, delete some image. Don't worry about all this other stuff sticking off, we'll sort that out in a bit. Alright, um, so basically I'm going to go clone tool and I'm going to just clone from here and just kind of go over, just get rid of these lines, like so. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is go onto our ID mass again, moss and magic wand tool. What happened to it? Um, where's magic wand tool? There we go. Alright, and we. Okay, we make sure we select. You know what we're going to do again is actually go into ID mask again, and we're going to go to select um, color range, and we're going to pick red again. Uh, no, okay, we're going to turn off these other layers a sec. And go and turn it up all the way. All right. Now we're going to filters, uh, not filters, um, selection, color range. We we'll pick our red and do OK. And we can set this back to 50%. And bring our other layers back. Um, going on to the layer we have um, deleted that for, for, we can actually now go over to. Uh, select uh, and um, in first, and we just hit delete. That cleans that up. That hide this. Alright, and you can kind of see there's some actually some more detail on there. Some crashes, crashes and stuff. Uh, so not actually showing up properly. Oh, this is uh, okay. Maybe you can't see it. Huh? Why are you still here? Oh, hang on. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's try that again. All right. Select color range, red. Okay. Let me put you back down. To percent it we do selected in, in first bring these other layers back all right our next layer on um, the the fresh layer we delete that okay okay now you can actually see the detail on it cool all right at least it's on there that's a good sign um, and now what we can do is just turn its opacity down a little bit, like 70%. We can uh, cycle through this uh, filters as well. Do we actually get something? What's pretty cool? Um, again, let's turn its down. Let's see. Um, another thing is you can use these uh, dodge and burn tools. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, just you can lighten up some areas and darken some others. Um, so I'm going to make sure I got a um, sharp brush here, and I'm going to make it small. And 
just going there to try and up some areas you can actually add going crashes crashes like that um, but I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to run through these filters once more I like that actually that's kind of cool um, but it seems like there's still too many crash crashes on here so I'm going to Okay, kind of let me zoom out. Hey, thank you. Right. I'm actually going to go and erase some more. I'm going to merge these down quickly for now. Uh, going to check out some more brushes. Uh, I'm going to actually turn this up. 100% and I'm going to use this brush like a bit bigger good at texture and that much at all. That why I like D do Fritz all sweet. And I'm gonna come over to image um adjust and I'm gonna adjust the levels on this. like this is slightly see-through. Um going to enable another layer underneath. Yeah, it's, yeah it is actually slightly see-through. Right. Now I'm going to enable our layer here. Okay. Okay, red. Uh, damn it. And do that. That's all made here. Right, bring this back. Just kind of chip away at this a little bit more as well. Go and duplicate this layer once more. And what I'm going to do now is just delete a lot of it. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I'm actually what I'm going to do now is with a fresh layer selected, I'm actually going to go image, image adjust layers, and just bring this up, bring this down. No, just fiddle with these a little bit. Um, I kind of want to get rid of that blue, so image adjust. Um, try this. Cancel and do that again. Oh. Just turn it down like so. Okay. 
happy with that. And they want to turn the levels up a little bit more, I believe. Right. And now, what we can do is it pretty much rinse and repeat. So I'm gonna. Um, see if I can be a bit cheeky and duplicate this layer, like so. Move it up here. Uh, that's not going to work. So what part? Uh, is that in the way? Um, so I'm going to basically select this part here and I'm going to copy it up. Probably would have been better if I realised there was some sap silt up there I needed a coat. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer over. Let's keep doing so until we get to the end. them down, duplicate them once more, move them up like so, merge that down, might duplicate once more and just offset it a bit, like so, and actually bring it down a bit. Let's merge them down. Go into our color ID. Turn this all the way up. Go into select color range and do OK because we still got red selected. Um, we can hide that now. And what we're going to do is in first selection and uh, delete. That gets rid of selection there. And yeah, um, what we're going to do now is merge this down. Actually, so let's quickly check this out what it looks like. So let's save this as a PNG um, as our texture. And yes. Come on, save. Alright. And we just reload in. Okay. Um, oh, yes. And we've got to change the UV over. So, kind of looking pretty ugly, to be honest. Um, I ain't the best texturer, um, as you can see. But, um, what we can do to improve this is if we drag our AO over like so enter um, and let's go through the filters There's a couple in there I liked. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's okay. Um, that's pretty cool. That works all right. So um, yeah, I'm going. Stop flying. Okay. 
be no CD again. Uh, no, that's that. What's up, flight? Um, I'm going to quickly save this out. And save PNG. Yes. Okay. And take your time. Another thing is when we compress this image down to a smaller size, it should add a um should actually add a bit more detail into it. Right. So now if we reload this, um, you can kind of see it looking a bit better. Now you can you actually got the details on there and stuff now, um, but it's still a mess, man. It's like. Um, there's still a lot more work to do with it, so what we could do is um, hide that for a second, what does it flare? Okay, so I'm going to merge these layers, no I'm not, no I'm not. Um, Gonna bring this up a sec. Bring this down. Oh, actually, um, go and duplicate our um, crashes, and I'm gonna. Uh, where were you? Hey, getting confused here. Okay, so duplicate crashes. Okay. Move that above our AO. Cycle through the filters here as well. Uh, so that's not actually adding anything. I'm getting rid of that. Um, go and turn the pasty down on our crashes so they're very subtle um, and maybe that will help so let's try and save this out should actually look a lot better. Uh, thank you. Uh. Yep, that's well I feel like that's looking a lot better. It's, it's still too light. So basically, I'm going to need to darken that up. Um, but I, I actually kind of like looks of that, actually, having a darker bottom and a lighter top. Um, this is actually the bad AO, what I didn't clean up. Um, I could try and use the good AO and see how that compares. But I think... I don't think it can. I don't know if it's going to work very well. Um, but let's give it a shot. Drag the clean AO in. Basically, nothing in here. No, I don't know if it's going to work very well. So I think I probably deleted a bit more from I should have. But it is what it is. Um, soft flight. And save as PNG. Yes. Okay. Uh. Now you can kind of see the errors in there. Um, uh, for next saving. Okay. Well. 
I did like the other one more. But I'm okay with this. Um so basically and what I could do is have both layers of Dao. The good uh, with a cleaned up one and a non cleaned up one, but put the non cleaned up one it's like twenty percent. I think cycle through these again. Uh, that's not going to actually work, is it? So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. And oops, leave this good AO. Um, uh, so it's still too light. Um, first thing first, actually, we can do is uh, don't know if that's going to work. Um, Go and try it. Go. You know, actually, I'm going to duplicate this. Do it some case I break something. Yeah. I'm going to increase the intensity of it. Like so. Go and go to selection, color range, get the white, delete that. Okay. And now do soft light. Mm, bring that down to like fifty percent. Enable the other one as well. And put that to soft light. Um going to duplicate this material down the bottom okay bring that bring this up bring up another layer another layer okay cycle through these as well uh, 80% I like the looks of this. Um, going to add this in as well. Um, so, can do a K to that. Move this down. Actually, make a new layer. Drop that under. Merge down. Duplicate. Oh, what have I done? Merge it down again, didn't I? And do that. Duplicate. Duplicate. Merge down. Duplicate. I really need to learn the hotkeys. And duplicate this. Like so. Merge down. And merge. No, not duplicate, merge down. Oh. And now we've got this. Uh, we're going to want to get rid of these seams. So we're going to get the clone tool. And it basically.
That well, I made it a little bit worse, but. Okay, yeah, well, that's ugly enough, but. <laughs> okay, no, just cycle through the. Like Come on. Thank you. Right, then we go to. Our color ID here, um, and what I'm actually going to do is why did it say it? Um, going to duplicate our I, um, AO map quickly, bring this up, and make it complete white or you could make a white background All right. so I'm going to go on the color mask here and do select um, color range and I'm doing white alright cool and now we can delete our AO map hide our ID mask and hit delete on our New layer we added. Cycle through these. Uh, we're going to have to bring this layer down anyway. Where's our... Where's our uh, Down fifty percent. No. Oh, hang on. That's default. Twenty percent. Fifty percent. Fifty percent too strong. Try play. Gives a nice little highlight around areas. Um. And let's, uh, let's save this. And okay. Come on, save. You gonna save? Right, it's being weird. Okay, so try this again. Uh, I'm going to try and load it. Alright. Cool. Alright. That, I, I'm a lot more happier with this. A lot more happier. It gives a little bit of variation. Um, there's still some parts we had to clean up. Um, you can kind of see some seams, but we'd patch that, we could patch that up in um, inside there. Uh, so, uh, not say brush inside of um, Photoshop. Right, okay, where? Okay, so you're going to be green. I'm going to have to locate green. Do some patchwork on green, so it's long there. Um, 
So I'm guessing it's like this part here. You just need to blend it in a bit. Um, so I'll probably just use the clone tool. Just kind of clone it sat down. Like so just get rid of that. Save that out. And um, I'm probably going to leave it here for now. And I'll probably work on it a bit more. Um, I'll probably do a part two of this tutorial. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, um, please give a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to say stay tuned for more um, tutorials, um, don't forget to um, subscribe. Until um, then, I'll catch you later.